we think there is going to be some volatility around these events. Uh, we generally have seen as elections come by both state and central, there is a tendency for market to start taking re uh, reacting to most news pieces, which they may or may not have to. But we see volatility increase during the time. And honestly speaking, uh, volatility sometimes is a fund manager's best friend. Uh, we see we see times when there is a tendency of what they call throwing the baby out with the bathwater and you get these opportunities to find companies which are honestly not going to have too much uh, too much uh, to worry about even if one party or the other comes in uh, both either state or central elections so the fundamentals of those companies don't change we try and focus on those th types of companies where we see the secular stories are strong and uh, these elections and other micro events actually give us opportunities to invest and find these good companies with great fundamentals and at prices which are uh, much more attractive because of volatility, uh, they are sometimes much more cheaper than they deserve to be. In terms of earnings, what we are seeing is pretty much more of the same. Uh, we've had this trend that we have seen over the last few years where we start out the year with earnings expectations of say about 15-16% for the year. And by the time the year ends, we are again at the same juncture of having mid single digit kind of numbers, more so because this reflects on expectation that the analysts and the uh, investment community has from earnings. And there tends to be some things which go haywire along the way. So what we generally try to focus is on uh, looking little under the hood, so to speak, where we would try and find those sectors, those companies which are showing those secular trends where there is quarter on quarter growth, there is year on year, on year growth. The trends are more secular in, secular in nature. So therefore, what has really happened has been the story of haves and have nots. Companies which have been delivering great numbers, they continue to deliver great numbers. So for instance, uh, uh, companies in say private sector financials, in consumer discretionary, parts of say materials in industrial space where trends are way more secular, they are not really impacted by external forces as much as some of the other sectors. So our focus continues to be in, fo uh, in finding these sectors, these uh, companies which are more secular in nature, uh, more long term oriented. So. Uh, whether it is the current quarter or maybe looking ahead for the next year, I think this trend continues where you will have these uh, discrepancies, so to speak, within the companies which are doing really, really well and some companies which are not so much. So we try and focus on that part of the market, which is uh, as we refer to them as the haves of the market. Uh, most of what we see in terms of the NPA norms, uh, RBA has been doing things or taking steps in the right direction where we have been uh, focusing on resolving these issues uh, rather than kicking the can down the road that has been the norm for the last some years and which has basically brought us to this situation where there is no other solution but to uh, to resolve these. Uh, so uh, we have had this uh, notion that this is probably the worst quarter or the last of the worst quarters. Uh, we are not really sure if this is going to be the last of the worst quarters but the trend seems to be uh, uh, that there will be a lot less of this problem say in a year or two but whether the uh, the tide has completely turned for some of the banks which have all these NPA issues well, we are a little bit skeptical in that so uh, we don't we not really invested in that part of the market which has got a lot of these NPAs or we are not betting on those banks where we see that uh, suddenly because of this NPA resolution there will be a lot more healthier balance sheets because uh, we are not really sure when this entire process ends and where at what juncture would these banks be for us to uh, really invest behind them. So we would probably wait for some time, see if this resolution happen, see the books to be a little cleaner, to take that uh, plunge towards the other side of the market. So as of now, we continue to ignore that part of the market and we focus on our uh, the usual suspects, so to speak, uh, the private sector financials and NBFCs where there is a lot less uh, hope and more delivery uh, happening.